Hi everybody! Today we will visit the bath of Diocletian and the Museum of Writing Communication in the Roman world. They are located in the same place today. Diocletian batches were public batches in Rome and named after Imperial Diocletian. They were built from 298 uh, to 306 and uh, were the largest and most impressive uh, of uh, the imperial batches of uh, that time. The batch occupies the high ground uh, on uh, the north summit of the Viminal, the smallest of the seven hills of Rome. They served as a bath for people resident in uh, the Viminal, Quirinal and Equiline quarters of the city. The inscription around the main entrance uh, to the bath of Diocletian reads translated from Latin Our lords Diocletian and Maximian, the elder and invisible Augusti, fathers of the emperors and Caesars, our lord Constantinus and Maximian, and Severus and Maximian, noblest Caesars dedicated to their beloved Romans, this auspicious bath of uh, Diocletian which the divine Maximin, on uh, his return from Africa, ordered uh, to be built and consecrated in the name of his brother Diocletian, having purchased the premises required uh, for so huge and remarkable work, and furnishing them the most sumptuous refinement. The full text of uh, this description is known thanks to a transcription made uh, between 8th and 9th centuries uh, by an anonymous pilgrim. Water supply for the Ecclesian batches uh, was provided by the Aqua Marcia, an aqueduct that uh, had long served uh, the city for Rome since uh, the early 2nd century. To properly supply the batch, uh, the supply of water to the city was uh, increased under the order of Diocletian. The batch uh, may have also been supplied uh, by the Aqua Antoniana, which was originally positioned to supply Caracalla batches in early 3rd century. The batch remained in use until the siege of Rome in 537, when the Ostrogothic king Vitiges cut off the aqueduct. The batch take up 120,000 square meters of the district. It's about the same size as uh, the batch of Caracula. The central hall of uh, the batch were 280 by 160 meters. The batch were able to hold up uh, to 3,000 people in one time. The complex was constructed according to the usual model used uh, for the great imperial batches. The caldarium, the hot chamber heated uh, using a complex system of air ducts uh, beneath the floor and uh, around the walls, led to tepidarium, a chamber with an intermediate temperature, and then to the frigidarium, uh, the vast chamber for cold batching, recognizable today in the Basilica of Santa Maria degli Angeli. The walls also the natatio, a vast open-air swimming pool measuring uh, 4,000 square meters, two gymnasium and a series of large holes with various functions.
This place also remains around 900 artifacts that uh, recount numerous aspects of Roman civilization. There are funeral steels and memorial stones, altar bricks, lamps, lead pipes, and uh, many other materials. Uh, there are also text uh, writing by people belonging to all social strata from emperor to slave. All this helps to understand the various moments of life of uh, the ancient Rome.